Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Microsoft Office Learning. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you how can we use some if formula. So let's jump into the video without wasting any further time. Here I created a sample data. Basically, sum if formula is conditional formula, which sum the values according to the criteria we give. Here there are three columns: shop, item, and quantity. If I want to sum up the values based on the criteria which I'll give in the formula. So how can I do this? Let's start writing the formula. It start with is equal to S U M. So you'll see on second number there is sum a formula. Press tab. Now the first thing is range. What is the range of the formula? The range in which the formula will look for. I select this range. And now second thing is first press comma. Second thing is criteria. What is the criteria? What is the criteria? The formula will look into the range. For example, I define the criteria here. It can be a cell reference or it can be a value. Here I give the cell reference. I click here. It will call this reference number. Now I'll press F4 to fix it. It's always recommended to fix the cell so the formula doesn't go any other cell. So next thing is sum range. What is the sum range? What is the range in which the formula will sum up the values? My sum range is this column. I will select all this range and then close off bracket. So my formula is complete. If I press enter, now you can see the result. It's a 754. How it works? The formula will look for criteria which is st12 it will look for the st12 shop number and then it will add up the value in the quantity column for example he found the st12 on number first and then found here and then found here it found the st12 shop number three times and then it add up all three times values and give me the result 754 so basically this is the conditional based formula it's sum of the value according to the condition we give i wrote down the formula for you is guys we start with is equal to sum if start of bracket range comma criteria and comma and sum range i hope so you like this video hit the like button and must mention in comment if this video is helpful for you make sure to subscribe my channel if you want to watch more formulas and more tips so i'll see you guys in next video